As anyone who's played around with glitches knows, we've long been able to clone almost anything in Zelda Breath of the Wild. We can clone weapons, bows and shields with the overload glitch. Dupe rare items with eventide storage or flag transfer. Get infinite arrows by inventory corruption or similar methods. Yet for years, we've never had anything like this for materials. For whatever reason, there were just no glitches to copy things like gems or ancient cores. Or at least, there weren't until now. Why? Because a new trick has been found to get as many copies of any material you want in the game. Here's how to set it up. First, make sure to go near a shop. Beedle is a good choice here. Now, drop the item you want to clone, so there are none in your inventory. Overload the game of shock arrows, Then set up item smuggling with a common material. You need at least 7 of this material, so pick something like apples or Hylian shrooms. Now, sell the rest of that type of material to Beedle or the shop. Pick up your rare item again, then press X to stop holding invisible items in the menu. Voila, you now have up to 6 of the rare item instead of 1. The game thought the invisible items were copies of the rare one, so I turned them into that. From here, you can then go up to 15 the item very easily. Just drop the stack of rare items, then repeat the process. But it doesn't end there. No, we can also use this trick to clone Korok Seeds and Spirit Orbs too. Just repeat the above process, but get a Spirit Orb or Korok Seed at the end instead of a dropped item. When you stop holding invisible goods, you'll now have up to 6 Spirit Orbs or Korok Seeds instead of 1. So yeah, have fun guys! Now you'll be able to get as many Dragon Parts, Star Fragments, Ancient Parts or other rare items as your heart desires. Either way, if you found the video interesting, give it a like. Subscribe to our channel if you wish to see more. Then leave your thoughts in the comments below on the Discord server today.